Hey, welcome to Rottler and welcome to a special presentation on connecting rods. Now here we have our own designs for connecting rod fixtures. Um, the one we're going to be using today is actually our smallest, but it's good for 8 inch up to 24 inch connecting rods, so a lot of range in there. And specifically today, we're going to work on an MTU 4000 series connecting rod. Um, we're not going to cut this rod today because it's actually going to go back for analysis already. Um, but we're borrowing it from a, a good friend and they allowed us to shoot this video and we can go over and show you guys uh, how this fixture works, how easy it is, and kind of the operation for locating it and then using the Pro um, to find the, uh, the big end and the pin end. We're working on the EM79 today. These fixtures can work on our 69, 79, 100 series machines. So really any of the machines. And uh, that's about all there is to it. So the way these work is you've got a control box here and this is pneumatically driven and it's got logic in it and it's as easy as working right to left. So we press the first button, load the rod, clamp the rod, locate the left side of it and engage this wedge on the back. Now you're gonna be able to see all that when I put the camera up top here. Um, but that's it, you just right to left, clamps everything down and then you hit cycle start. So I'll bring the camera up here there we go, and I'm gonna grab that rod and we'll get this thing going. So let's reset the fixture. I have my rod down here. Drop that in there. Press the first button on the right. That brings up a ball locator. I'll just slide it against there. Activate the clamp, so now this is holding itself in there. Now I have a ball locator in here that's going to come up and align the, uh, the two bores. So this does a neat little double move. It taps at one time. And then it comes back again to locate it for the final. And then now we have this wedge that's going to slide in just to stabilize everything in here during cutting. Press wedge engage. And there you go, we're loaded. So we have specific programs just for doing connecting rods. Uh, inside our proprietary software. We've already got that one set up. So now I'm going to load in our Renishaw probe. I'm going to come over here to my auto cycle. First thing I'm going to do, I'm going to probe both sides. So I'll hit probe both sides. The one thing unique to this software too, uh, right now we're doing a four point probe. This cap hasn't been cut, it's a serrated cap, so nothing going on that we're doing there. If you do have a standard rod and you're cutting the cap and you're shrinking down that diameter, uh, you have the option inside the software to do a three-point probe, so you can just probe uh, right inside the rod side, not on that cap side that's been, been trimmed down. So you can put everything back to, uh, to the blueprint. All right, so that's done. It's saved both locations now. I will change my tools. So like I say, we're cutting there here, but to give you the idea, I put my boring bar in now. And in this thing, let's say we've just put a new bushing in, the reman option here is to pick this up and then go and uh, set the diameter and the center line distance in the uh, pin end bushing. Uh, all I gotta do, come over into the software, probe data, four left. You let that run. finished. Move on out of the way here. Real easy. Fix the reset. Releases the rod. Take it out. Put it back in our box for shipping down here. And load your next one. So that's the, the main operation there for using any of our connecting rod fixtures or processing connecting rods on Rottler machinery. Like I say, it works great on F69, EM69, EM79, EM100. So inquire if you're looking at any of those machines, if you're doing rods, inquire about these fixtures. As you can see, very versatile. All this is adjustable, the clamp arms, everything pneumatic. And once you get it set, it's load and go. Point and shoot machine takes care of it. Um, hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you found that interesting. If you wanna see then this exact machine cutting a rod, check the link in the description. There is another auto cycle video of cutting both the big end and the pin end of a different model connecting rod. Again, this is an MTU 4000 series, um, so a very good example of uh, 
one of the, the rods you can do in this. Anyways, take care out there and we'll catch you guys next time.